Hey there folks and welcome to a beautiful spring afternoon here at the Biarro Ponderosa. I hope everyone is enjoying their prison time uh, while we're all quarantined through, uh, through this nasty mess that's all over the country. None of the Biarro crew are, uh, have been affected by this stuff. I've had a, uh, a bunch of subscribers ask me that how difficult is it to powder coat the smaller buckshot pellets. And is it is it even possible? The short answer is yes, it is possible. But the uh, there is always a but, isn't there? Yes. The um, my best performing powder for the smaller pellets is by far the Eastwood powder. It is the most expensive, and no Eastwood is not a BRO sponsor or affiliate. I got to buy it from them just like you guys do. But their powders are the best as far as powder coating the small pellets. I got some number four buck that I've got to get powder coated up. We're going to powder coat it up in some beautiful Eastwood blue. Y'all stand by. I don't have much of the blue left. I gotta place another order with Eastwood. Five minutes of tumbling in, they are beautiful. You've seen enough of it, that is a beautiful uniform coat. That ought to do nicely. I'm gonna put it in a 300, and well, it's, it's pretty cool out here today. If it was hot outside, I'd put it in about a 350 uh, uh, oven, but being cool with this little old thing, this big old door, it's not real well insulated. So about 360, and it, like I said, there's so many variables, 350 to 375, depending on your needs. And with those smaller pellets, oh, six to seven minutes, maybe. You go too much longer, when you get that temp too high in there, it'll melt those little tiny pellets. It'll, they'll, they'll start melting on you in there. I'm going to get me a bucket of water to douse them in, and we're going to get them in there. Y'all stand by. Some of the number four buck go right through that little quarter inch hardware pole. I like the uh, Reynolds route. Reynolds no stick. Aluminum wrap. That stuff works good. Get them. Get them spread out as good best you can. All right. We'll check them in about five minutes and see how it's going. Five minute check. Looking good. Probably go seven or so minutes. Looks like they're just about set. Folks, you want to make sure there's plenty enough water in your bucket so you can drop, just drop the whole pan in there. That's what I do. 
but you need to make sure that's a five gallon bucket make sure it's at least half full or maybe just a little over just to make sure that everything gets down in there easily eight minutes looks good today boys and girls eight minutes looks good today Drop the whole pan in. It looks like we were just before. Some of the pellets were just before starting to melt. So we were right at that point. Well, y'all can see it. Let me see if I can get y'all zoomed up. You see them little shiny spots on uh that means that some of the lid was starting to it was just starting to liquefy where it was contacting the bottom of the pan so and a perfect world probably seven minutes would have been about the perfect number not eight on this one right here no damage done but it uh it could have been a mess pretty dang good i am tickled with that number three buck going into the mixed powder coat which is about a a third eastwood blue a third southern powder coat green and a third harbor freight red works really good folks since this is all about smaller pellets <clears throat> with the number four buck I was borderline having some of the smaller pellets melt on me the, uh, in the first part of this video so I'll be back the temperature down to 345 we're about oh we're just under 80 degrees out here today so it's a nice day real dry air and uh, and it was like seven almost eight minutes and the number four buck was melting so I'm going to say six to seven minutes is probably going to be all we're going to go today with the number three buck and really make sure we catch this stuff before it starts, uh, before it starts melting on us. I'm going to also suspend this pan in another pan so it's not making direct contact with the pan that's right above the burner. That ought to, uh, that ought to help reduce the problems with... Uh, having the lid starting to melt that's in contact with the bottom of the pan. We just want it to get hot enough to give it a good jacket. All right, we'll check it in five minutes. Looking nice and shiny. It's probably about ready. We'll give it another minute. It'll be about six or so minutes today, and then we're gonna take her out six to maybe six and a half minutes here I can do this without burning myself get it doused in the water here just like that Some beautifully jacketed number three book. We'll have to break a few of those apart, but they break apart real easy.
the larger pellets are a lot easier to deal with and can remain suspended on that quarter inch hardware cloth. Just makes life a lot easier. The smaller pellets can be done as you saw but it's just a lot easier to work with the bigger pellets whenever you're powder coating these things. Five minute check. They are looking good. Bigger pellets you ain't got to worry about melting as much as you do them little ones. So we will give this one a full eight minutes. Eight minutes it is. Now since we got the hardware cloth, we just drop the hardware cloth. Looks like all the pellets came loose, separated. <clears throat> That's always a good deal. They do cool off quick. Nice cold well water here. That is a mix of Eastwood Blue, Southern Powder Coat Green, and a little bit of Harbor Freight Red. I saved that mix. Remember, I used it the other day, and it worked out so good. Uh, I saved it, and so I tumbled the, the 32 cal single alt and the 30 cal number ones in this same color today. Only the number four buck got the straight up Eastwood Blue. Yes, things getting hot. These things will come out in another minute or so. Six, six and a half minutes on the number ones and they'll be done. Just like magic. Well, there you go, folks. I hope y'all are making the best of this quarantine with this daggum plague that's this, uh, this hitting the country. Uh, the roosters don't care. Y'all stay safe, stay blessed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This is Wade Rush, host of the Bubble Round Tree Outdoors channel. There's lots more coming up, guys. While we are in prison here on the Ponderosa, lots of stuff going on, and I'm going to bring you guys along. Y'all have a good one. This is Wade, host of the Bubble Round Tree Outdoors channel. We'll see y'all soon. Bye-bye.